Alright everyone, welcome back into another NFL DFS video. Got the week 7 core plays here for you guys. And you know, we've been doing pretty well with these videos. Uh, last week we gave you guys Darrell Henderson, Khalil Herbert, Ricky Seals-Jones, and Tyreek Hill. All as core plays for you guys last week. You guys could use those four to kind of anchor yourself into a profitable week. Well this week we have some kind of, I guess I'm going to just kind of dumb it down for you guys this week. It is going to be focusing on really the top four players on the slate. And then really, we might have to fade one of these four, unfortunately, because while they're all priced up enough, but they're all in smash spots, they're all in spots in which we're going to want to target them. So that's going to make this slate difficult is that really the top four players on this slate are all priced that way, which is kind of unfortunate. As of right now, we don't have any values, but I'll be coming out with the values plays videos video for you guys this week. But let's get into the core plays now. We'll start off with Devonta Adams there for you guys. So Devonta Adams, we can see just in a great matchup going against the Washington football team. Uh, Devontae Adams, yes, he kind of struggled, I guess, last week. Uh, five receptions, 89 yards, or five targets, 89 yards, four receptions, 12.9 DK points. Really is like worst game of the year, I guess, if you will. But we can see he's really been able to take advantage of the easier matchups thus far this season. So Devontae Adams, again, projected to score 17.6 DK points this week, which is going to be the most out of any receiver on the slate. As we can see, second best matchup on the slate. Um, just looking at more. The football team gives up the first most receptions to receivers, second most yards, third most TDs to opposing receivers. Then we get to the next core play here. Actually, it's going to be Tyree Kill. So he gets the best matchup on the slate going against the Tennessee Titans. Now, this should be a, a highly appealing one here. We just saw the Titans get destroyed by the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football with Cole Beasley, who has kind of been kind of hit or miss. Diggs had his best game of the year pretty much. And then Emmanuel Sanders, continue to be effective. So they had three receivers really go out and kind of dominate. So the really kill a safe and consistent target. I really want to be paying up for those two. So at the receiver spot, we're going to be paying up for Adams. We're going to be paying up for Tyree kill. Great matchups, huge ceiling, safe floor. These guys should both get over like 20 to, I guess, 15 DK points is what I put their floor at, but really think those are going to be strong options. And then just going to the running back room, Derek Henry. I just don't think we can afford to fade him really at this point until he kind of lets People down, you just keep playing him. Uh, yes, he's getting priced up there now, but you know, not a horrible matchup going against the Chiefs. The thing is, I feel like teams have figured out that they don't have to force passes in there. The rushing attempts for opposing running backs has ranked out as 26 for the Chiefs. But then we look at the rushing yards, 17th, and then the rushing TDs, 9th. The thing with the uh Titan or the thing with the Chiefs is as well is that they have been getting beat up via running backs in the passing game. So I, we could actually see Derrick Henry get his floor raised up a little bit. I got him projected to get, you know, around 3.6 targets, which should equate to around three receptions. And he might even get around 30 receiving yards, which would be kind of crazy for him. So if you're kind of maybe betting um, running back uh, props, maybe we have a receiving one for Derrick Henry that we can take advantage of there. If it's like, I don't know, 15 receiving yards, definitely bet the over on that for Derrick Henry. But uh, that being said, great core play here for you guys. Projected to get 24 DK points in this one. A uh, pretty fine matchup there. And then getting into kind of the easy play on the slate. Darrell Henderson Jr. in the best matchup on the slate. Going against the Detroit Lions, who Detroit Lions really have not been able to stop anyone. And we just see Darrell Henderson continue to be used. Our core play last week. He's going to be a core play again for us this week. 21 rushing attempts, three targets. So 24 total opportunities. He was able to get 24.7 DK points. And right now, where he's priced at, He's pretty much priced at his floor, I guess, if you will. I don't see him not scoring 15 DK points or more in this one. So, Darrell Henderson, also going to be a strong core play for you guys. Well, that's going to be it for you guys for the core plays video. Kept it short and simple for you guys. Devontae Adams, Tariq Hill, Darrell Henderson, and Derrick Henry. Obviously, once more news comes out on the slate, we can adjust our lineup slightly. But I do think we're going to want to have at least three out of those four on our main slate build this week. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. And as always, let's keep cashing.